Today, I'm gonna talk about the GoPro, one of the biggest problems with the GoPro, and, and hopefully how to fix it. In my GoPro accessories video, I talked about kind of more of a professional setup, or like more pro vlogging setup for the GoPro, and, and that included, first, a cage. This is the Lux Bell cage. You, uh, you pop your GoPro out of its normal frame into this cage. This cage then gives you a cold shoe mount, which is how you mount the microphone, but because the Rode video microphone has this big fluffy bit on it, you can't mount it directly on there, otherwise the fluffy bit is in your shot. So you gotta get this piece right here, you mount this on there, that lifts the microphone just enough, so that elevates the microphone high enough to where this doesn't get in your shot. Then you need the infamous GoPro mic adapter, which is 50 bucks. You plug this guy in here. You plug this in the side of your GoPro. And, uh, and that's what you have. You've got this setup. <sighs> so if we then take this whole setup and we put it on a, on a pole. All right, that's, can you see that? That's it all. That's what it looks like mounted up. One thing a ton of you mentioned was that the microphone clips into the little grooves on the microphone, which, thank you, super helpful. But uh, you still got this dangly bit down here. And the solution that I've always used is basically just taking, uh, I either take bongo ties or uh, these little red think tank straps that I have in like every one of my bags. And I kind of just, uh, come on. Boom, done. Uh, yeah. That's my solution for now. It's not terrible. Look, see? It works, but it's this piece. This is the whole problem. It's the adapter and the fact that there's nowhere for the adapter to go. But also in that video, a ton of you, like, like at least 40 or 50 of you mentioned one case in particular. And apparently the company that makes that case heard you because they sent one to me. Oh yeah. Oh. They sent two to me. Good thing I wasn't doing an unboxing because they sent it from China in this. Look how beat up the boxes got. <laughs> Both of them got trashed in the mail. All right, these are the Ulanzi GoPro cases, cages, cages. And a ton of you in the comments of that accessories video said, you should use the Ulanzi case. You should use the Ulanzi case. Use the Ulanzi case. Get the Ulanzi case. So this is the Ulanzi case. Today we're gonna see if it solves all of this mess. Ugh. Uh, it looks like they sent me the Ulanzi V2 and the Ulanzi V2 Pro. They also sent a, a handle, like a grip. It's heavy. That's a heavy grip. All right, uh, the unboxing. Done. The Ulanzi V2. This guy, check that guy out. All right, so the sell point of this whole cage that I've figured out so far is it mounts the adapter below the GoPro and it has a little lifter here, which is definitely not as tall as my riser. So we'll see if this will get the microphone out of the, out of the shot. Let's rig it up. All right. Locked in, GoPro in the Ulanzi. Am I saying that right, Ulanzi? Sound, it looks like Ulanzi. All right, so instead of this adapter, which you see, really gives it a lot of height. It's just got this little bit on there, this little tiny guy. But uh, we'll see if that works. Microphone up top into the cold shoe mount, locked down. Okay, so this adapter goes through. Oh yeah, look at that. It kind of just locks in underneath, and now I got, oh crap. 
Okay, you gotta take the door off the GoPro before you put the GoPro in the Ulanzi. Good to know. Door off the GoPro. GoPro back in the Ulanzi. Oh yeah, that works good. Ulanzi closed. Yeah, in the picture, you don't plug it this way, you like twist it. I don't know why. Oh yeah, that kind of works. See, you just twist it like you bend it up. I don't know why you don't go the other way, but you don't. Now my microphone plugs into this side, into the adapter. Well, that's already a much cleaner setup. Look at that. That's actually pretty sweet. So then I would uh, mount this back to here. Well, damn, Ulanzi. Look at uh, look how clean that setup is. That's a, that is a way cleaner setup than how I had it. For everybody who commented in the comments about the Ulanzi case, thanks, this thing is super dope. You can see how much it's lifted above. It's actually quite above it. So if I'm in linear mode, there's no way I'm seeing it. I might see it if you're in like wide or super view, but for sure not in linear mode. And I could always just take this piece off, use the piece that I was using on my other guy to raise it even higher. Oh yeah, that totally works. Look at this. Boom, check that out. So uh, if I use my own little razor, which is like eight bucks, it puts it way out of frame. I could totally use super view and that microphone's not gonna be in there, but it is still gonna pick up really good audio from the GoPro. This is a, uh, this is for sure the best vlogging setup I've seen for a GoPro. I am super impressed, Ulanzi. All right, so that is the Ulanzi V2. Can't say much for the packaging, it's just a uh, bubble wrap. Good thing this isn't an unboxing channel. I'm gonna get this all taken apart and uh, check out the Ulanzi V2 Pro and find out why, uh, why it's called the Pro. Ulanzi V2, good product, I like it. Ulanzi V2 Pro. <sighs> Again with the packaging, it looks like, it's like, looks like I'm opening something from the dollar store. How much do these things cost? Okay, I totally forgive the horrible packaging because the Ulanzi V2 is $16. I don't know what the difference is yet, but the Ulanzi Pro is $19. That's, that's, yeah, I forgive you entirely, Ulanzi, for your terrible packaging, because because the price, I mean, that's, that's great. All right, Ulanzi V2 Pro. We've got the Ulanzi case. What's different? So the cases are almost the same, except that the Ulanzi V2 has got the, uh, it's got the GoPro feet already on there, and the Ulanzi Pro has a quarter inch 20 mount on the bottom, which, which is an interesting choice, since it's a GoPro. And it doesn't come with an adapter to the GoPro. All right, Ulanzi V2 case. It has a filter adapter on there. That's pretty clever. Ooh, I got it. So you can click a filter adapter on there and then then uh, you can use polarizers, you can use ND filters, just circular ones instead of having to use the actual GoPro one. I don't know how many millimeters. I'll figure out how many millimeters this is and I'll put it on the screen. Also comes with a lens cap. That's nice. Lens caps are good. And it comes with, ooh, it comes with an aluminum bar. Now this bar, is uh, clearly set up so that you would screw this bit into here. Oh yeah. So check this out. This gives you a secondary cold shoe mount. So you got a cold shoe up top now, and now you have a cold shoe shooting out the side so you can mount a light. Let's see if I can mount my light. This is the Aperture ALM9, and uh, yeah, I can totally mount that right there. Locked down. Oh, I think I did this in the wrong order. Cord is mounted now. Put the light, oh yeah, oh look at that. It just fits next to each other. Come on, look how close that is. Oh, it's perfect. It's like they made it for this light. They clearly didn't, they made it for that light, whatever that light is, but this light fits perfect. And then uh, our microphone on top, shikink. All right, look at that. That is a sweet GoPro vlogging rig with light. Huh. Oh, right, right, right. This is all making sense now because they sent me this. It's an aluminum handle, but it's like, it's like a roll of quarters. So this bar has all the mount bits in the middle on the bottom. 
so I could screw this handle anywhere in there. Look at that. Okay, check out this vlogging rig with a GoPro and microphone and GoPro adapter and light. That is a, that's a pretty solid little rig. I don't know if I'd like to use the handle. I'd like to use, I like using poles because I don't like my, I don't like my arm in the shot. You know when everyone vlogs with GoPros, their arm is always in the shot? I don't like that. So I use a, a pole and then my hand is like down here and it's not, it's not in the shot. Since this is a quarter 20 mount though, I would have to use, wait for it. I have an adapter for that. Aha! All right, this piece right here, this is a GoPro mount to quarter 20 mount. So the deal with this basically is I can, I can mount this quarter 20 into any quarter 20 mount and then uh, it'll fit onto my GoPro adapter. Boom! Ha ha ha! Check that out! This is a serious vlogging setup with a GoPro. One of the nice things about walking around with a GoPro when you're vlogging is that it doesn't draw like, as much attention as if you have like a big, you know, DSLR with a Rode Video Mic Pro on top and all that stuff. It's for sure gonna work, but this is gonna draw some attention to you, especially if you've got your, uh, especially if you got the light on. Very bright. But it works. This works. I mean, if you're a vlogger and you're only vlogging with GoPro and you need the microphone and you want a light, this is a $20 setup that solves all of your problems. That's impressive. All right, Ulanzi. Damn, that is bright. Aperture, you make very bright lights. Yeah, I'm gonna say, as a vlogging solution, so far, I have not seen anything better than this, especially for the price. Just the straight case with a mic on top and a GoPro mount already on there is $16. And then this rig with the bar, the aluminum bar, is $19. So, wow, you kinda can't go wrong with that. I'm thoroughly impressed right now. I can't believe this is 20 bucks though for all this. For all of this, 20 bucks. I don't know how much the handle is. Where'd the handle go? I don't know how much this is. I have no idea. Ridiculous. The handle's $10. Uh, I probably wouldn't go with this handle. I would probably go with, if you're looking for like just a hand rig, I'd go with this guy, which is the Manfrotto Pixie. This thing is just a sweet handle slash boom tripod. Dink, can you see that? Tripod, handle, tripod, handle, tripod. Screw that in here. Oh, this is a good setup. We lock this bit back in there. All right, check this setup. And it's a it's a solid rig. You can uh, you push the button. Now I'm in vlog mode, I'm vlogging. Here I am vlogging, hello, hello there. I'm vlogging. And then, uh, tripod. I haven't uh, used this in the real world just yet, like actually gone out and vlogged a full day with it, but but at this point, first look, first impressions, that's a good solution. That is that is way cleaner than how I had it before. You got just kind of the one thing on this side and the dangly bit on that side. I don't need these anymore. I am very impressed, Ulanzi. So the same option is if you don't want to use the little light bar and you just want to use the Ulanzi Pro, you would need to go buy one of these pieces again, which is a GoPro two prong, two quarter 20. Or maybe it's called the quarter 20 to GoPro. I don't know. It looked, oh crap. Hang on. So you need this if you get the Pro version so that you can convert the quarter 20 into a GoPro mount. That's kind of silly. I don't know why they did that. There's no, no. They did not include one. So the pro version, here's your heads up. You spend three bucks extra. So these three pieces right there cost you $3. What you don't get though is the GoPro feet attached to the case. So you've got to go pick up this piece to make this pro mount compatible. Mm. And I don't like this piece, I'll be honest. Every time I use it, I go, oh, I hate you, you stupid piece. So if you get the Pro, you need this piece, that way you can hook it up to GoPro mounts. That's a silly little thing that they did. I'm not sure why they did that. I get it, because quarter 20 is more universal, but if I'm using a GoPro 
in the case, I want the GoPro mount because everything is the GoPro mount. And if I have this mount, I can always, I can always get this piece, which is GoPro the quarter 20. So I can take, I can take the normal V2, I can take the GoPro adapter, pop this piece on there, and now it is quarter 20, just like that. And this piece is easier to use than this piece. So my recommendation here is if you're not gonna use a light with your GoPro vlogging rig, the V2 version is the way to go because it has the GoPro feet already on there. If you are going to use a light, or you're gonna mount this thing to lots of weird places, I would say go with the Pro version because it has the quarter 20 mount on there. With the quarter 20 mount, I could put a tripod plate on there and now I could just mount this to any tripod. But again, I could just take this, mount that first, and now I can mount the tripod plate to it. So, yeah. I would say the difference between the Pro and this guy is mainly, are you gonna use a light? Or in general, do you need a second cold shoe? I think that's it. I hope you have enjoyed this review of the Ulanzi V2 and Ulanzi V2 Pro. Ulanzi V2 Pro. All right, even in super view mode, you cannot see the microphone with this setup right here. So this is the Ulanzi V2 with, with this piece on top. So this piece right here is like $9, I think, and this piece is $15 or $16. So I'm gonna say this is the best vlogging setup that I've seen for GoPro so far. If someone else has a better setup or better ideas or better anything for GoPro, let me know. I like I like knowing about this stuff and you guys are the ones that told me about Ulanzi. Thank you, it's it's amazing. Yes, commenters, you were right. This is, a, this is a much better setup than what I was using before with this whole cage and ties and it was bad. But this is good. Ulanzi, thank you. I have to go to a photo shoot. So I'm gonna clean this up later.